I would say, if I would describe it, it's at its infancy. So we're just starting. Um, people speak about AI a lot and think about trying to be better than a human brain. Um, I think if you really understand AI, it's about solving existing problems for businesses and for human beings. Uh, we can solve problems like um, what are the main death causes in the world? There are three. If I take the top three, it's um, the first one is, uh, is heart attacks, the second one is cancer, the third one is uh, accidents in traffic, fatal accidents. Um, those are subjects which we can uh, resolve or we can work on. Jobs will change um, and, and, and the danger is that you don't start to educate yourself on what this uh, revolution might be. Uh, understanding how can AI help, what can AI do. I think that's one of the dangers and we need to get on that very rapidly. And if I look at the world today, US uh, would say is a couple of uh, years ahead if I would compare that with Europe today. Everything we do, we use AI. But the thing is, um, and for us also to understand what are the capabilities, because they are immense and we're still learning. We're learning so much. Uh, and I think that is what we're aiming here. And one of the things we do internally, we call it um, a DLI, that's a Deep Learning Institute. We ourselves go through it. And this is something we're also doing in the market today. So we have a deep learning institute and in where we want to help people understand what is deep learning, what can it do for you, uh, how can you use it, what are the custom examples. It is already out there, people are already using it or you are already using it, everybody is using it without knowing it and it facilitates, uh, let's say, the services you have today. Uh, it enables you to do things which we weren't able to do at an affordable price. I say at an affordable price a couple of years ago. AI has always been there. The fact is that it has been too expensive or too complicated uh, to implement. Today it's being more affordable because of GPUs. And if you make it accessible to, let's say, the enterprise community, I think you will see a lot of um, developments, but a lot of cases where people use uh, deep learning or AI uh, to improve either custom services, uh, the way they approach customers uh, and many more things.